What's up guys? This is Retro Collector 101 back here with another video and in this video I will be reviewing the PS Vita. So in this video I will be telling you guys about its specs and saying well should you buy it? Is it worth the money? Is it worth all that money for the memory cards? Or should you just pass on it and spend your money on maybe a PS4? Well let's find out. In December 17th of 2011, the PS Vita was born. It was sold for $250 for the Wi-Fi only model and $300 for the data model. On the first day of its release, Sony sold over 500,000 units, but as the days flew by, fewer and fewer people appeared at the stores to buy what Sony thought was going to be a success. After the end of 2011, only 1.2 million units were sold around the world. This was a major disappointment because nothing was wrong with the PS Vita. In fact, it was very good. Now moving on to 2020, Many people think of the PS Vita as one of Sony's greatest failures. But was PS Vita really a failure? The memory cards were very expensive, being over $100 for a 32GB card. And the device was expensive, but looking at the technology just dazzles the eye. Of course, there were a lot of positives, but there were some negatives. So why don't we talk about some of the negatives? So while looking at the device, I actually played Ridge Racer for you guys a bit earlier. It's really comfortable. I really like the handheld. The touchscreen in the back is a bit unnecessary. But other than that, the joysticks are so crisp. The buttons make that easy click. So it's easy for your clicks to register. There's really nothing wrong. Of course, maybe the camera's a bit bad. Like I'll show you right now, it's not the best, but it can do panorama and other things like that. There's a selfie camera, but I really don't know how to use it. I don't know why, but here are a few photos that I took and a few videos before of my place and stuff like that. It's truly not that bad, but like, I don't enjoy it. It's not the type of camera that you would want to use when you go somewhere or want to take photos of the beautiful view in New York. No, I would rather use my phone or maybe a good camera if I had one. So here you can see a video of Metal Jesus playing on the Dreamcast. So would you guys buy the system? I'd say yes. It's a great system. I totally suggest it. In fact, I bought it because I watched other people's reviews and saw that it's a good system. I totally suggest it. It's worth the money because it can do so many other things other than just playing video games. It has better graphics than the PlayStation 2. In fact, it's comparable to the PlayStation 3. And overall, I just love the joysticks and the buttons. It's a great handheld. I totally suggest it. The touchscreen on the back isn't that good, but other than that, it's a great system. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for future videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!